Hey guys, wanted to do a quick video on the Lotus Project. A lot of the guys have been telling me to at least put a video up, at least one on YouTube. So the uh, car is in progress here. Doing the front suspension this week. Um, for normal, the shop is a mess, but it kind of happens with a lot of projects. So here's what we've got going on today. Got the uh, lower control arm in with a new bushing finally. It's a big pain in the butt to get in there. Got some Protec shocks from uh, SJ Sports Car in England. Seemed like it had really nice quality. It had stock spring rates, but at least it's an adjustable height and has a damper that I can do that on. These are about an inch and a half to two inches shorter than stock. So it should look good when it's down. Not a lot of caster, or I mean uh, camber adjustment stock. So that means this will be running a little bit up front just because of the drop. So that's pretty cool. Um, here, I can show you guys the outside as well. No windshield currently. If you have a source on that, let me know. <laughs> Interior is pretty much done. I uh, went through and redid all the carpet. Not much you can see from that angle there, but if you go through the front, did an Alcantara dash with a um, lot of carpet work in there. So decided to do brown door panels as well because I uh, couldn't flock those with the texture. I did flock the lower part of the dash, as you can see. Um, turned out pretty well. Might redo it later on, but I want to get this thing on the road. So went ahead and also wrapped the interior pieces with a leather, pretty cool. That was a learning process in itself. Then the uh, the back, it's lifted up right now, so it looks like a monster truck, but there is the K24. Gonna stay naturally aspirated because it still has the Citroen transaxle in there, so it's not rated for more than around 2, two, two to 220 torque at the wheels. So gonna keep it keep it naturally aspirated for now. Basically, uh, I figure with the K24 going in, you lose about 150 pounds, coilovers, and that kind of keep going with that lightweight trend from uh, Colin Chapman. And uh, the original ones of these were actually uh, naturally aspirated anyway, so it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so here's the other side that's actually fully completed. Doesn't have the brake caliper on there. They were all seized. There you go. Not very good lighting in here. This is what the top control arm piece looks like. Oop, as I drop it. All their alignments are done by these shims right here. And uh, sway bars laying on the ground. Dinky little 17 mil. All right, and then uh, these are the <laughs> frozen brake calipers on a very dirty shop surface. Had to use a, a great idea from one of the friends of mine and hook up a, a grease gun and pump that caliper out. So there's that. And I'll give you another look at the uh, transmission adapter. We did have to make some uh, close up on my face. Sorry guys, probably blinded you. The uh, motor mounts are on the side. We had to fab those up. Still in kind of a process for getting those poly bushings in and seeing what I need to run for stiffness, but probably gonna be a little vibration. So here's the uh, adapter. Got a, made by a local guy here in the area. Exactly an inch thick. Got these tabs for mounting on the side here. I am going to have to be finishing up and figuring out a, uh, slave cylinder mount, because it blocks the one on the stock transmission. Um, but other than that, um, <laughs> should be pretty easy to mount right here. Your uh, brake uh, disc will go right here. So, and the shift link, it goes right here as well. So it's a little tight, but here's the mounts. Made those the other week with a buddy of mine. Really helped me out. Gonna be using a turbo exhaust manifold to come around here and then go that way, or that way, over to the stock exhaust here. And uh, we'll have to rock that that way. So 
that's just a little update. That's the 88 Lotus Esprit project, K24 swapped. Might be the first one, who knows. Um, another one's getting worked on in Ohio, one of my buddies, and uh, he's doing a supercharger setup on his. So it's kind of a fun compilation project to get, get a couple of these cars back on the road that you just wouldn't normally see because British engineering and all that good stuff, which it is good, so I'm just playing. But uh, you don't see them a lot, so I figured it'd be a great thing to get something that's been sitting for a long time back on the road. So here's the, the body line. Looks pretty sweet, honestly. Can't wait to get her up with those pop-ups. So that's a little Lotus update.